Welcome to How Do I Even Do This with Just Emily. This week, I'm going to show you how to thread a sewing machine. First, you're going to need a sewing machine. Who'd have thought? You also need this funky little electric gas pedal thing. A spool of thread. Some of those funky little gadgets. Instructions! And some scissors. So these are the pictures for the instructions that I, for some reason, thought was Chinese. Alrighty, so that little stick thing there is where you're going to put your spool of thread. And this little stick thingy here is where you're going to put your bobbin. This is a spool of thread. That was easy. This is your other thing. It looks like a salad bowl. Put it onto that little stick the salad way so that the salad in the bowl would hypothetically be touching this, this spool of thread. You get the picture. This is what I like to call the pokey little crown thing. Make sure that the pokey part of the crown is touching the bottom of the salad bowl. Good job! Alright, so string the thread around that little hook thingy at the top and then bring it around the silver looking screw thingy and you should be able to start putting it through the bobbin. Great! Okay, here's your bobbin. I know you'd rather be bobbin for apples right now, but instead you are threading a sewing machine. <sighs> Isn't life great? Alright, so the thread's going to go through one of those top holes there, upwards can't really see it there, but you will be able to see it later on. So go ahead and put that bobbin on the bobbin stick thing. We like to use professional terms here. You're doing great. Push that bobbin stick thing to the right. You're still doing great. All right, so there's your spool of thread. And you brought the thread around the hook thing, around the screw silver thing. And then that swings down to the spool of the bobbin. Look at it really quick. Okay, great. Use that little gas pedal to make it spin. Make sure that that extra little bit of string that was going through that top hole isn't stuck in there. Cut it! You're gonna cut that string that was sticking out of the top hole and then the string that's still connecting it to the spool of thread. All right, so now we're ready to put that bobbin down in this bottom part. Now this part was a little bit hard to get off, but don't let that machine show you who's boss. You're the human. Now this little flap comes down. That little silver doohickey in there is what you need to get out. There's a little flap that you can pull on and you just pull it right out of there. It kind of reminds me of a medieval-like helmet thing. All right, so you're going to put the bobbin right into that metal thing. Make sure this, the thread is facing that way, otherwise you're screwed. So up at the top there, that little notch is where you're going to put the thread through and make sure it comes out of this part right here. This is what it should look like at the end. The thread should be going towards your right. If you got this far, you're doing great. Super great. So go ahead and grab that little flap thing again and shove that right back in there. Just shut that flap and put the string up off to the side because you'll need that in a minute. Go ahead and set the tension just like a family Christmas party. Make sure that the width is correct. Make sure the length is correct. And then the stitch style. So for this next part, you are threading the top part. Put it through that hook again, this time through the white part, down through that little sliver up and around basically follow the pictures on the actual machine and then to the left around that silver hook and just straight down 
This is the magic part where there's something that helps you thread the needle. You push this thing down, swing that thread around that little metal hook right there, and across, and you let go, and poof! Ho, 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 it's magic, you know, never believe it's not so, it's magic. You're doing a great job! Turn that thing on the side towards you and the needle will go down and pick up that bottom thread that you put in that bobbin like magic! Oh, ho, ho, it's magic, you know. Pull the thread Never out. Believe it's not so. it's magic. Make sure both of those threads are facing to the back of the machine. That is extremely important. Here's some fabric, use it. Practice, make sure you didn't freaking screw up somewhere. Looks like it worked. Hopefully yours did too. You're awesome. All right guys, well thank you so much for watching this video where I actually teach you how to thread the machine instead of just showing you how frustrated I was in my other video. Uh, while I was doing that, I realized it was kind of mean to not actually show you how to thread the machine. So hopefully this helped. And it was a little bit sillier than normal instructions, but freaking good. Instructions are boring. Like, who would even, do people read instructions for fun? Because if you do, why? Hey, so for all of you Sherlock Holmes people out there who figured out that I gave the thumbs up a ton of times in this video for fun, uh, that was a sign that you should probably go ahead and like the video. So let's see if we can get the amount of likes down there the same as the likes in here on the video. I don't know how many times I gave the thumbs up. Anyway, if you did like the video, go ahead and like and subscribe, uh, share it with your friends. I've been having a lot of fun making them. I hope you're having fun watching them. I uh, hope everybody had a happy new year. Again, I can't speak English. Go sew something. <laughs>